Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my skincare routine. So this is pretty much every morning and every night I do this to my skin, whether I have makeup on or no makeup. So if you are interested in what I use for products, then just keep on watching. Okay, so to start off, because I have a full beat face on, I'm gonna throw my hair up. Okay, so I always make sure to throw my hair up, especially when I'm like trying to take off my makeup, just so I can get every single ounce of makeup with my wipes that I use. The wipes that I use to take off my makeup are the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. I cannot switch off of these. These are the best makeup remover wipes out in the market ever. Like, they're the best. I've tried so many and these just take off everything. Waterproof, cake face, everything. So I always just take one towelette and then I always wet the towelette a little bit just to make it a little more damp so it's easier to take off my makeup. So then I literally just go over my entire face and just take it off with this towelette. So now that all of my makeup is off, I go in with a cleanser. So I usually wet my face and then I go in with a cleanser. And this is a newer cleanser to me. I think I've been using it for about two weeks. It's all natural and I put it in like a little like Tupperware case just because the soap holders aren't big enough for this because this bar of soap is like huge but I just put in a little Tupperware case because it came in plastic and it was just not sanitary just throwing it back in the plastic so I just threw out the plastic but I will insert a picture of the bar right here just to show you guys like the packaging and everything and I will also list everything I use down below. So don't even worry about that. The name of the facial bar that I use is the African Black Soap and it's with oats, aloe, and vitamin E. It's all natural, 100% natural. There's like five ingredients I think and you can read them. It's like real English. <laughs> so that's what I have switched to. Um, I was using like any drugstore cleanser and I just realized that using alcohol on your face is just horrible after a while so I stopped using alcohol um, in my cleanser and I just feel like some of the high-end cleansers just weren't doing it for me so I do have like acne prone skin just like a little bit it's not like insane like I'll get like a couple like zits like here 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 it's mainly like in this area so whenever i get those um acne spots i always cleanse my face and make sure that i'm cleansing it with something good i have realized that my skin is not as bad my acne is like slowly getting controlled which is what i needed like thank you jesus so this is what the soap looks like it's in this little container <laughs> i'll just take it out i know it, it looks ghetto but it works so whatever so it's just like a black bar of soap you can see like I've used it um, all I pretty much do is just wet my face whether I'm in the shower or just at my like sink I wet my face I rub my hands in between the soap make sure they're clean and then rub it all over my face and then wipe it off sometimes I do use um, the vanity planet that I told you guys about in my current favorites I do use this sometimes, but right now my skin is burnt from being on a boat yesterday, so I'm not going to use that just because that's a little tougher. So I'm just going to use my fingers just because my forehead and like my nose and right here is all burnt and it's really like sensitive and it hurts to touch. So I'm just going to use my fingers today, but sometimes I do use that Vanity Planet um, facial scrub, so I will link that down below too and I will try to find you guys a discount code if you are interested in it. So let's jump in. I'm just going to wet a washcloth just to wet my face today, just for the matter of being in my beauty room. <laughs> And then I take the bar of soap, then I rub it in between my fingers like this and just get all like the suds on my fingers. And then my fingers are all layered. So as you can see, it's like all over my fingers. It looks really gross, but it works so good and it feels really nice on the skin. So then I just rub it on my face. And 
and then I will usually like wash my face off like normally but I'm just gonna take this towel and just wipe everything off this cleanser does get off all of the rest of my makeup that the um, makeup wipe doesn't get so that's one thing that I really enjoy that it does that also it gets all the dirt out of my pores all the rest of the makeup that's left on my skin and it doesn't like burn at all it feels really nice it just feels like a regular soap and that's what like I really like about it because I, I hate when products like burn your face like that's not a good sign that's not your face shouldn't be burning especially from a cleanser so that is one thing that I have learned um, and I'm also trying to stay away from alcohol and just really bad ingredients like why not try and go all natural on your face because that's probably better in the long run so now once all of the product from the bar is off my face feels so nice right now it's nice and cleansed it's nice and fresh it feels really beautiful and just really nice and like clean just a nice clean face <laughs> so then after I'm done cleaning my face and drying it off so I just take a dry towel a clean dry towel and just damp my face just to make sure that it's all dry mm okay so now that it's all dry, I go in with a micellar water just to make sure that all of the dirt, every single trace is off my face. So right now I've been really loving this simple micellar cleansing water for sensitive skin and it hydrates your face like no other. It's so good, I promise you. Like I love it. So I take this and just put it on a little cotton pad like this. I don't even need a lot and then I just rub it throughout my face this doesn't burn also it literally just feels like straight water on your face but after your face feels so hydrated after I'm done with that I go in with a moisturizer so right now I've really been loving two moisturizers one is the Tatcha pore perfecting water gel moisturizer and then the other is the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel so as you can see, this one's like almost gone because I used I used to use this one a lot and then I recently just bought this one. So mainly I've just been switching back and forth between these. Usually I use this one during the day and this one at night. So as for today, we're going to go in with the Tatcha one just because Clinique is almost empty. So let's do Tatcha. This is a really nice moisturizer. I feel like it definitely has helped my oils especially and another thing that I've noticed is I have a very oily t-zone and just have acne right here like just random acne but I always used to get very oily right in here like no matter if it was even winter I would get oily and this soap has helped that so much it's probably the combination of the soap and this with the Tatcha I just squirt a little bit on my hand like that much not too much and then rub it in between my two fingers and then I go in an upward motion because on this the paper that comes with this it says to rub it in an upward motion so that's what I do and this is also a really great moisturizer it is really really pricey so if you're not trying to spend like 65 68 dollars I would definitely try out the Clinique one because that one is awesome too that is the end of my skincare routine that's pretty much all I use I will link everything down below especially the black soap if you're interested in trying it the black soap is only four or five dollars depending on where you get it so try it out if you're looking for a new um, cleanser because it works for my skin so maybe it'll work for yours I've had a ton of people request this video so I hope you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe I am doing a giveaway at 2k so once we hit 2k we can get to that giveaway so I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are and I will catch you in my next one bye guys